Chad from Flash Performance, and I just got a new system in the mail that I'm super excited about. This is from Arc Droid, and this is a two-piece system. I actually bought this on Black Friday of 2023, and it has just arrived, so let's get this unboxed. So this is two pieces. This is the X2 system for Arc Droid, and then you got the, the robot down here at the bottom. So the X2 system gives the Arc Droid the ability to move on a track, so it gives you the ability to cut a lot bigger piece. So this here is the track system that the Arc Droid will sit on, and we'll, uh, we'll put this together after we get the Arc Droid set up, but the Arc Droid will sit on this, and it can move back and forth, and that basically doubles your surface area that you can cut without having to have a huge monster table. So let's get this out of the way, and let's get the robot out. So if you aren't familiar, this is the Arc Droid CNC Plasma Cutter. This is designed in Canada and built overseas. Let's get this thing opened up. So while I'm doing this, the main reason I, I bought a machine like this is number one, I love to do fabrication, but number two, I hate to do cutting and grinding because it seems to take forever. And I, was, I have been wanting to get a plasma table for years, but I don't have that big of a shop and to have a four by eight plasma table that takes up a you know, basically a bay inside the shop. It just, it just wasn't gonna work out. And then I saw the Arc Droid that came across the old Facebook. And this is a robot that is tabletop to be able to do your plasma cutting. And you can build a table for it if you want to. And that is definitely part of the plan. So in the unboxing we have, these are the calibration guides. So we'll have to set those off to the side. All your power wires. I think these uh, stickers are at least 10 horsepower. So those are extra good stickers. And there is the robot packed in there. So let's get out all the accessories, the laser pen. This is our clamp for our plasma cutter. This comes with its own computer system, so you don't have to be CAD efficient. And that was a big part of this, so we can just bust out parts pretty quickly without having to draw them in CAD first. So that's a nice addition. And also one of the biggest reasons that I went with this particular unit instead of some of the other ones on the marketplace. I'm gonna get this pulled out and set on the table. So this is the Arc Droid. You can see how small it is. This is a tabletop unit. So we can actually put this, let's say on the edge of a table and we can clamp our work to hang over the edge. And then this robot will cut out our design off the edge of the table. And it's easy to be Portable, of course, we can just pick it up and put it wherever else we need to. If we want to travel with it or push it off into a corner, it's a pretty slick little unit. Now, the X2 table is the base for this, and that allows that base to slide from one side to the other. Because you can see it has a limited range of how far away it can go from the center of the robot. And as we get out farther away, we start to lose some of that accuracy. So we wanna make sure we take that into consideration on our cut, but that gives us a pretty big range just with this setup, but with the X2 setup, we're gonna be able to double that. So my plan is to build a plasma table for this unit, but I need to know how big to build it. So I had to get this first with the X2 setup so I can put this on a piece of cardboard and draw out my arcs to see what my range of the arc droid is and that way I can start building my table. So let's get the X2 underneath the arc droid and then let's get some cardboard uh, assisted design going on and figure out how big this table is going to be. So I have the arc droid set up and you can see I put a big piece of cardboard underneath it and basically what I'm going to show you is what this X2 addition to the arc droid can do and why it's pretty pretty awesome. So I just have the arc droid set in the center. I put a marker in the end of the droid so I can swing an arc so we can see what the normal dimensions that the arc droid can do. Because of the way that this is pivoted in um, from one and two points, it can only do an arc. So if we take this out here at full swing, That is how big of an arc we can do. Let me, here, take me. 
So basically, we can do a 45 by Uh, 45 by 20 piece, but remember that you know your pieces have to be inside that arc, and if you get really far out in the arc, you're you're going to have some some issues. So now that we have the X2 on the bottom, we can make a lot bigger arc. So let me get that set up, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to slide the arc droid over to the edge. Now this is not an automatic process. Uh, so once we slide the arc droid, you can see that I can now go all the way out to there. And now my arc, it's the same size, but with the arc droid, I can slide it all the way over. And I'm going to run out of cardboard. That's a good problem to have. So we'll take that one. And we are just a couple inches off the edge. So you can see now, I went from this point to this point with my table, and I can still see how far out I go. So now I know how big to make my table. And the way the Arctroid does the stitching together is quite amazing. You'll have to catch that on another video. But with this, I can measure my table and know how big I'm going to make it. So I need to go a little bit past the end and a little bit past the end. So I'm gonna make this a six foot, and then from the edge of this forward is gonna be the table. So it's gonna be a, I'm gonna make it a six foot by two foot table, and then the arc droid will actually has mounts for the X2, and that'll hang off the edge of the table. And uh, let me show you what I got for putting the table and the arc droid on because I don't like anything being stationary. Let me show you. So this is the cart that I chose to put my table on for the plasma cutter. And I'm gonna build a water table, so it's gonna be about five inches deep. So this is a nice, strong cart. I actually got this from Harbor Freight. This is a welding cart. And if you've seen my other videos, you see that I have another one of these for my welding rig. But this will give me the ability to have storage underneath. This cart is three by a little less than two, so we're gonna have a little bit of overhang, about a foot and a half overhang on each end, and then we're gonna have just a little bit of overhang on the table as well. The plan is that we will have the table edge, and then the plasma cutter will hang off of this side with those brackets, and the X2 will be on this edge. So it'll all be one semi-compact table to be able to move around the shop. The beautiful part about being on wheels like this is I can push it over the drain to drain out the water. I can move it over into the corner when I'm not using it and just have it out of the way. So putting things on wheels in the shop just makes sense when you're in a smaller shop like I am. So this is going to be a great solution for the arc droid. I'm excited to get this arc droid up and running and working. I still have to wait for my plasma cutter to come in, but there are some things that I can do uh, before even that comes in. I can calibrate the machine with the calibration process, and I'll make sure I do a video on that as well. But I'm pretty impressed so far. The build quality of this unit is, is top notch. The thought process of the X2, top notch. So I'm very excited to, to get this up and running. I'm Chad from Flash Performance. Special thanks to my 13 year old cameraman, Corbin. Appreciate you doing that. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe and uh, follow the channel.